Before we get into an overview of the UI, let's have a brief look at what are the Oracle Content Management use cases. Oracle Content Management is a cloud-based content hub to drive omni-channel content management and accelerate experience delivery. It supports a wide variety of use cases. Now, for simplicity, we've grouped them into four main categories. On one hand, we have digital asset management. So managing assets effectively means being able to efficiently store, collaborate on, find, and publish your assets, whether they're text, images, videos, or content items structured with all of the ones above. Now, Oracle Content Management allows businesses to consolidate all assets into a single content hub so that they can be easily delivered to multiple channels. Content authors have asset editors and smart authoring tools at their disposal to make it easy to create and organize assets. An embedded search engine also ensures that all assets in the repository are properly indexed and findable. Now, as a shared asset hub, for Oracle Marketing Cloud, Oracle Content Management ensures that marketers can create, find, and use the most up-to-date approved images and videos as they create emails, landing pages, and microsites, as well as any other channels. Now, second use case area is the secure document management area. Now, in addition to managing repositories of digital assets, Oracle Content Management also supports secure document management use cases. Documents can be ingested through business processes, through the web UI, or via desktop integration tools. Ingested documents are scanned and indexed to ensure findability. A growing number of Oracle Cloud services allow native attachment and document management services to be replaced by Oracle Content Management in order to improve reuse in a larger business process, as well as more sophisticated tooling for desktop integration and lifecycle management. A third pillar of use cases concerns site building. Many organizations still think about content management primarily as a set of optimized tools for creating and maintaining their .com sites. For these use cases, Oracle Content Management offers WYSIWYG uh, tooling through our embedded site builder, uh, allowing experienced designers to build web pages without knowing HTML simply by dropping content and other components onto pages. Sites can be created as public sites and cached using the embedded CDN or as secure sites that require user credentials. Now, site templates make it possible to delegate also site creation across an organization without sacrificing governance. And finally, a last pillar is headless experiences. Now we've noticed a number, a growing number of organizations are building innovative experiences for customers beyond static websites. These experiences could be dynamic sites based on modern JavaScript frameworks such as React or Angular or Vue, or they could be native mobile applications or conversational UIs, uh, digital signage, or any other content outlet that you can think of. Now, other organizations, on the other hand, are looking to make existing commerce, sales, and service applications more content-rich. And other organizations are looking for ways to manage, to better manage a content published social networks, for example. Now, Oracle Content Management offers a broad set of tools and services needed to enhance all of these use cases and all of these headless um, delivery uh, channels. Now let's go through a guided tour of the Oracle Content Management UI. Hopping over to the Oracle Content Management UI, the typical home page that you would be seeing is this one. When you uh, log into the application, you'll have three columns, one with recently used items that allow you quick access to uh, content items or uh, objects within the system that you recently accessed, uh, quick links to give you more information around how to manage core assets in the platform and guided tours uh, in web format around how to work with repositories or assets or sites or groups, as well as quick links to documentation for more frequent tasks. On the top right area, uh, you'll be having a profile window listing your user, um, as well as some of the available links, like for example, preferences that you can go through to configure the notifications. Uh, for yourself and in here you also have a number of sections like configure notifications that you get from the system or um, configure settings around documents like size and the default uh, role as well as linked devices if you're accessing the platform from a mobile device. Similarly, you also have the possibility of downloading the desktop client from the download app section or seeing the latest capabilities released with the platform on a monthly or bi-weekly basis. You can also get an idea of what the version of the platform that you're currently working on is just by clicking on the About option. 
or going through uh, your personal profile, getting some of the information that the uh, platform has, as well as editing that profile. Of special interest is also the groups area, which will enable you to um, join groups and get access to various assets within the platform. In my case, we're seeing a demo admins group that would give me access to some of the available uh, capabilities. Now, the core navigation area is on the left-hand side, and this is collapsible. Uh, most of the content that you would be uh, managing would be in the assets tab, but uh, if we look on the left-hand side, uh, most of the uh, objects that you'd be managing are grouped under dedicated tabs. So if you're managing structured content, it would be under assets. If you're looking at uh, building front ends, it would be under sites. If you're looking at creating recommendations, it would be the tab with the same name. If you're looking at building custom components or uh, sites, it would be under developer. And of course, if you want to get some content analytics, it would be under these. And then there's a dedicated section for collaboration around uh, enterprise file sync and share, which is available under the documents area and an adjacent conversations area, which you can use to create conversations for collaborating on content. Of course, as with any application, a dedicated administrative section gives you access to system settings, uh, integrations available in the platform, as well as um, system objects around creating a content model. So let's go in a bit more detail through each of these. Starting off with the administration area, under the content tab, this is where we actually create the content models. So everything to do with content types, uh, localization policies, channels to publish to, and the type of con object that actually creates um, or reunites all of the uh, various policies that we create, which is the repository. Repositories are then accessible in the assets tab. So this is where most of the content contribution will take place. You select the repository that you want to work with and all of the content items that you create show up either as tiles or depending on the view as a table. You can filter that content by content type, by status within the workflow, by channels, for example, based on the channels assigned to the repository, or even by a taxonomy that you define. Essentially, all of the categories in a taxonomy becoming filters in the UI. You can then use those assets to build repos uh, sites and front ends using our site builder tooling. This is available under the sites tab. <clears throat> and in here, you can uh, see all of the sites again as tiles, and you can open each one of them up just by selecting the tiles and accessing the controls on the top. Additionally, if you want to personalize content, you can create uh, recommendations. So, for example, in the case of a uh, the Supremo Interiors repository, we we'll have a recommended phones type of uh, recommendation where we define the rules and the content that needs to be presented. Similarly, uh, if we want to customize some of the assets uh, that make up a site, we have the dedicated developer tab where we have a listing of components, templates, themes, and the additional embeddable UI that allows us to embed the UI in um, other components. Some content analytics available under the dedicated analytics tab, and here you have an assortment of reports to go through for all the uh, core metrics that we want to measure as well as the dedicated documents area <clears throat> where you can create files and folders and share them and group them however you need, and conversations where you can actually um, create conversations that just show up next to the content and help you collaborate on that content. Additionally, there's also the possibility of configuring system settings uh, that have to do with security or billing or users or assets documents. There's a whole host of uh, settings available in here that you can choose from. And there's also a dedicated integrations tab where you have the available integrations with various other platforms and services, as well as ways of configuring content connectors to some of the more popular platforms like uh, OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, and so on. And translation connectors like the out-of-the-box lingo tech or webhooks that you can create to uh, essentially create uh, push notifications uh, when content is published. So that is, in a nutshell, a very quick overview of the uh, Oracle Content Management UI. And um, of course, uh, we'll be following up with subsequent modules where we look at additional operations in detail.